Hello. What's up? How's it going, everybody? It's your boy. Connor Franta back at it with a new type of video. I've actually, I realized the other day, I've been holding myself back. I have yet to ever do in my career on YouTube a get ready with me video. So today I'm gonna try to do that. The tan line never leaves. It's always here. It's never going away back there too. I just don't want skin cancer. I'm um, just back from a seven mile run, just showered, freshly clean, cleansed, etc. It's the weekend, I'm going out on the town tonight with a bunch of friends. We're gonna get some cocktails, get a little bit crazy. So we're gonna do my routine, pick out my outfit, etc. Let's go. I might shave my mustache. Do I shave my mustache? Everybody's been incredibly divided on my mustache. I didn't ask for anybody's opinion and yet everybody's giving it to me. It's like a, um, baby shaving for the first time. <laughs> to be fair, my dad doesn't even really have much facial hair, so I think this is just my destiny. I should let you know that I don't know what I'm doing skincare routine-wise. I hear people say things on the internet and I just take them for the truth. <laughs> so we start off with a little vitamin C serum. Of course, of course, of course. Recently, so I always have this issue where I get right here in this area, I get um, clogged pores. Sexy, so hot. And I just found out that you can do this to get rid of them. This is like an, an acid solution. La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay. It's a clarifying solution. So you, uh, it's literally like acid. Like, isn't it funny that we put acid on our face? Peculiar. Burning a hole through my skin. But it works, like it works. After like an hour of this stuff being on, it's gone. The dirt, the filth is gone. I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling a little bit insecure. I'm gonna put this on instead. <laughs> I feel a little bit less of a slut. I don't think I've ever pointed out my tattoos. So I have a tattoo here, I have a tattoo here, and then I have a bunch on my legs too. There too. I use a lot of Murad products and I have a couple dark spots on my face right now. So I'm gonna, like they're over here, do we see? I'm gonna put a little bit of that solution. Solution? I only create problems. Yeah, I had like a whole issue right there last week and now it's all healing. So next we will go in and of course moisturize. The one thing I've learned about aging because your boy's about to be 30, three zero. Oh my Lord, where did the time go? Moisturizing and sunscreen, key, absolutely key. I do full body lotion every day. <laughs> so much moisture. So much moisture. And then obviously like retinol sunscreen, the whole deal. Y'all may be dying, but we don't have to look like it. I use, <laughs> I was talking to my friend the other day and I was like, we both use natural deodorant. And we were wondering like, how do you know if you actually smell bad? <laughs> Cause that thing of like, you can't smell your own breath really. And I don't think you can really smell your own body odor. So it's like a deep fear of both of ours that we secretly smell, especially with all like the natural products that I'm using nowadays. We made a little bit of a pact saying like, if I ever smell, if there's anything in my teeth on my face, you better fucking tell me. Real friends tell you when there's something going on. Don't be a fake friend. Um, okay, let's do, let's do my hair. My hair is an interesting one. My hair has changed completely over the years. Like it, it's very wavy and kind of curly. I put a texturizing putty all along the sides and in the back, push this way and I push this way, move it back and move it back and move it back. I've always felt like I've had a big head. So I'm trying to like keep the hair on the sides really close <laughs> to keep it really small. The textured putty on top as well and kind of just slowly make its way in, create those waves. It's insecurity, but I feel like there's like not a lot I can do with my hair and with my clothes. I feel very stuck in the gender binary and it's so annoying to me. Like I wish I could have a kooky out there haircut and wear skirts and dresses all the time, but I just, it makes me uncomfortable, but I want to do it, but I'm uncomfortable 
but I want to do it. Because honestly, I'm bored. I'm just so fucking bored of doing and wearing the same thing every day. Just want a little bit of spice in my life, you know what I'm saying? Dry, my hair is like hay half the time. Oily serum to it to kind of give it a little bit more of a wet look. You know that wet look. <laughs> Don't we all just want to be wet? <laughs> what was your inspiration? Um, Walker. <laughs> Ooh. Obviously, we're doing tinted sunscreen because we're not trying to have a white cast situation. And what's great is this will hide those red marks too. I rarely go out nowadays. Like it is, I am comfortable on my couch most nights of the week. So when we do, it's like a big deal. All of my friends are like, we're doing it, we're going out. We're having a crazy night, okay. <laughs> we're adults, I've become an adult, it's scary. It's a big deal, so I gotta make sure I look hot. I want the attention of everyone in the bar. <laughs> I don't think that's a Virgo trait, but like, I do like being looked at. I do like a little bit of gawking. I do my eyebrows when I go out. It's like that little extra confidence I need. I put a little bit of clear gel on there and I push those caterpillars up. Okay, so nice. There you go, you get the attention too. My confidence is up, the world better watch out. That's kind of it, you know? Like that's like really what we do. And then the hair dries, I let the hair dry naturally. Okay, let's do the outfit. Um, hi. <laughs> Fine, I'll enter my hot era. Okay, so the vibe is cool, casual, cocktail place. I have this sweater vest that just, you know, like shows off the guns. Or rather, lack thereof. This is probably not the right mood, but I have this, everything's thrifted by the way, so sorry, you can't have it. I just don't love myself in Red. And then I have like, like, we're like this underneath it. You know, like, let's try it. Let's try a few things on. Okay, let's just, let's relax. So, you know, you could like very much go for that. I could wear, oh, I could wear my white pants. That could be fun. Let's just see, just for funsies. So like, you could like, you could like very much. This isn't the worst thing. I just remembered it's summer. So. <laughs> I want to layer things. I don't want to sweat. This might not be the move, but I do look hot. I think I look hot. I do. I look hot. Like as in warm, overheating, internal body temperature rising. Okay. Well, yeah, let's try something else. I have been cropping everything that I own. Nothing is safe. Not one piece of clothing has been safe this summer. I have taken a scissors to it all and I'm showing off my belly button. Hmm, what if actually I did this? Green pants, slight crop. We are giving young college professor, academia, university, extreme financial burden, lifelong debt. Also, all of my shirts have been victim to the scissors too. I just, I'm cutting everything. I don't care anymore. It's cute. It's a thing. It's a look. I could be, I could be tempted. Let's try this. Okay, hold on. I feel like it took me my entire 20s, but I finally figured out how clothes actually are supposed to fit me. <laughs> Minus maybe this. This is like when you buy things that are thrifted that cannot be cut. There's only so much you can do. Look at my arms. They look great. Finally, I love it. Where are my socks? You aren't getting my feet for free. Boom! The secret weapon. They make me feel tall, therefore I feel powerful. Unstoppable. And if anybody tries to cross me, I can just... Or if they really want it, I'll step on them. I'm not opposed. Okay, now here is a full body of what I'm wearing. You know, honestly, it's like a little bit simple, but Sometimes I think that's what I need to wear to feel confident going out. I don't want to wear anything that's a little bit too out of my comfort zone. I know these Dickies fit me perfectly. They're like literally my exact size. The Eddie Bauer vest on top is a little bit big on me, but honestly, I just am like obsessed with the color and it's nice that it adds a print to it so it's not too plain. It's hot outside so I won't be like too warm because I won't wear a t-shirt underneath it. I'll just be full on sweating under the sweater vest. And then you add the Western boot with the steel toe tip to it oh my god perfection perfection so yeah that's um 
that's what I'm thinking of doing. The hair is officially drying, and as you can see, the curls are beginning to form. <laughs> I don't know when this happened to me. I did not have curls. Nobody in my family has curls, nor do they have wavy hair. Like, it'll just get bigger and bigger throughout the day, too. Like, everything will just, like, poof up. Oh, what's nice? I can actually show off my tattoos, too, which will be kind of great. They rarely see the daylight, so that'll be nice. Thanks for watching my first Get Ready With Me, y'all. Let me know what you think about all three of the outfits. If you have a suggestion of when I should wear the others, if you want me to do more content like this, let me know in the comments down below. Is there anything I should be adding to my skincare routine? Don't roast me, please. But if, if you have some light comments and or criticism, I will accept them. I accept no comments or criticism on my mustache, though. Leave me alone. I'm trying something new. But I do accept compliments. I hope you're having a great morning, a great afternoon, a great night, a great day, a great weekend, perhaps. I will see you super duper soon. Bye. I am actively choosing to be in my get out of my way era. Like, I don't want you in my way. I don't need you in my way. I'm only moving forward. Everyone else is blocking me. Get out of my way. Move. Back off. And I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs>